all right all right welcome back to another episode of the truth is hello if you're new here my name is peyton 3.0 the EDM vocal sorcerer, the king, the queen, the sultan of the Milky Way galaxy, EDM, okay? And even possibly the truth, okay? Well, even if though the show, once again, for those of you who are new, is not about electronic dance music, I always tie everything into my main brand, period. So this is a one-off series. Um, it's basically exposing the truth. I do say allegedly, just to curl myself um just in case something comes up and somebody comes after me for saying whatever you know this is the world wide web or whatever and it's a crazy world wild wild west of a world that we live in over here so please like comment subscribe if you like this video this is called the pills pandemic in america in a places like america the uk and and so on this is the truth is take it away all right folks welcome welcome back this is the truth is this is the pills pandemic so basically what i really wanted to get across and get off my chest and most most of you truth seekers maybe some of you ravers which i'm not going to talk about the um the pills culture and so on that goes in on and in the raven festival cultures of electronic dance music that's really a different topic we're not talking about those kind of recreational types of um substances we're talking about the medical system and prescription drugs okay prescriptions okay um allegedly this particular country america that's where i live doesn't want actual cures to come in and actually cure people for most of these diseases because they can't make money off of people who are cured of their their this ease their ailments that um that could make a lucrative profit you know so anybody that comes up with a cure allegedly allegedly the government <laughs> um has their ways of snuffing out those people okay allegedly the government has a way of snuffing out those people and trying to pay them off or else possibly offing them allegedly base either they're paying them hush money or they're possibly offing them okay either one either way it is not good because like i said allegedly the government is not really for the we're not really for the people at least not here allegedly okay want to say that allegedly it's for the capitalism and the profits and the businesses that's what really run this country allegedly okay okay so there was a law passed back in 2000 i'm just gonna say there was a law passed back when a while ago the 2000 somewhere allegedly okay <laughs> there was a law passed that blatantly said only a drug can cure a disease so what they did there basically was that they know that no drug cures a disease at all drugs usually make things worse worse or they just put a band-aid over the problem while give you all this other stuff all these other symptoms all these other problems in the body that you end up having to trade more drugs for more prescription drugs that is okay okay so they passed that law so that nobody could officially come with a cure allegedly and cure many ailments like 
lupus, Lyme disease, HIV, diabetes, um, type, you know, what is it, two or three that the one that's not that's not curable by just diet exercise alone or whatever, or they claim. Um, and many more diseases that they won't cure, but they'll they'll give you a pill for it for the rest of your life. That you have to take or some kind of like with diabetes, insulin or whatever, or whatever that you have to take in order to just stay alive. And even if you're not paying for it, if you're a low income person, somebody from the, the government, somebody from the government's money, somebody trickling down who's a billionaire, um, who put money into the system, whether, whether by their own um, cooperation or not, because we all know how the system is set up for us not to cooperate in saying what we want to do with our taxes and what, you know, if we want to give money or not, allegedly, here in America, allegedly, okay? And so, basically, countries like that operate like America are doomed because if you get a if you get a disease it's basically over for you because they got the medical system basically has you trapped for lives and this is like billion this is like a billions of dollar industry a freaking year okay folks it's not even funny how much money they make um off of pushing these prescription drugs you don't even have real doctors. Again, I will say this, because this is another um, episode on, on the medical system I have. Allegedly, you don't even have real, real doctors in countries like America. You mainly have pill, pill pushers and surgeons, okay? Um, Who don't really know how to tell you about your body. Like, not really. They know that they teach them, they teach them the basics. And that's it. They don't know how to teach you how to really eat in this country, and it's set up that way. And that's a whole other can of worms, allegedly, that we can get into. Okay, that's a whole other can of worms again about the food industry. And I think I talked about it recently too, um, and how they're in cahoots with the medical industry, allegedly, um, and, and this money-making scheme they got on their own citizens. Okay, on their own people. And whatever makes money, the, the government loves it, loves it. No matter how unethical, allegedly, it is, okay? So, basically to end this off, because I don't want to make this too long, there is, if you're in countries like America, there's no way for you to escape if you get something and it, it can't be cured easily or it won't the body won't the body won't heal itself and it doesn't go away then unfortunately like you're you're either trapped or you're going to be basically off or deleted by whatever disease is in your body um if you can't afford in some whatever kind of way um these these drugs this insulin these prescription drugs that they try to push on you to create more problems anyway or, or keep you spending money day after day year after year it's absolutely diabolical okay allegedly so anyway i want to know what you think i want to know what um thoughts you have personally i think i've said enough um, go ahead down the comment section. Yes. Yes. And let's have a discussion about how trapped most of us feel in countries like America. All right. And this has been Peyton 3.0, the EDM vocal sorcerer. I want to thank all the true seekers for coming today. The Ravers, the, um, the <laughs> festival goers. Um, if you're not into electronic dance music, you can leave at this point but before you leave hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends and hit the notification bell for more videos like this there'll be more video videos like this a whole series of them at the end and for my electronic dance music fans don't go anywhere stay right there this is for my electronic dance music fans only follow my social media 
um but what i really want you to focus on is getting on the email list because as i said before social media is dead and it's not coming back and it's not in the favor of um any of us creators or anybody period that's on it even just average users so email is, is has come back in a way that nobody ever thought email was going to come back before because unlike social media and the conglomerate giants or what it has turned turned into a capitalist monster um the email list is not as is, is is king the email list is real digital real estate more than ever so it's the best place for us creators us musicians and things like that to communicate with you guys without interference you will always see our emails as long as you're looking and opening them um on like our posts or videos you may not ever see nothing or a lot of them or whatever you may not see them at all if they're not in your news feed because of where social media is today so social media is dead folks get on the email list by going to the website payton30.com okay payton30.com there's a button right on the page i get right to the point um get three friendly songs as a gift that would be the button for getting on the email list and let's get to know each other for real okay um, by getting on that email list. Well, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Truth Is. Bye bye, and take it away.